Uh, let's check in with Brian McMillan. Brian, what do you have going on right now? <laughs> I have the Diamond Club, and if you know what the Diamond Club is, you know it's a pretty special place here in T-Mobile Park, and it's all totally, completely renovated. It's something special. And right outside the doors here to the Diamond Club is a brand new uh, picture of King Gurkhi. Look at that. Look how cool this is. This right here is what I would call Instagrammable, I think, here. But a really cool shot of Griffey with the bubbles. Iconic, right? All right, this is the Muckleshoot Diamond Club. Come take a tour with me. Let's head on in. And this is Katie Griggs. She's the president of business operations. Uh, thanks for talking to us, first thanks of all. This is spectacular in here. I mean, uh, when we first walked in, it was just like, wow, unbelievable. I remember what it looked like before. How has this room changed? Uh, it's been fundamentally transformed. <laughs> we could not be more excited to be welcoming our fans in here today. I mean, as you can see, we have a roughly 20 foot wide 4K television in here. If you want to watch sports before the game, uh -huh. this is the absolute best place to do it. It almost feels like a, like a sports book almost in a biggest casino. It's so cool. And the bar used to be, I remember, in the middle of, uh, of everything. And now it's it's a big long bar here at the end. Well, we had an opportunity here because obviously if you look up you can see that the ceiling follows all of the seats in the bowl. Yeah. Previously we had a drop ceiling here so by just simply elevating that it really gives you a sense of the scale of this building and gives us an opportunity to let this be a feature wall inside here. And this is going to be more of like a fine dining experience down here, right? It is. I mean this is a place where you come in before the game, you have a great time, you have a drink, you have some incredible food and then the focus is entirely on base. Baseball. Absolutely. Speaking of baseball, well, why don't we go over here? Yeah, yes. this is, I'm, I'm a total baseball card geek because I, I, I used to collect them uh, when I was a kid and they kept doing it over the years. And, and this is so incredibly cool. What is this? This is the My Oh My baseball card wall. So if you are a baseball card fan, <laughs> this is the wall for you. There are lots of Easter eggs in here. There's even a Scott service card. There it is. The Griffey oh, wow. rookie card is in here. So I'm not going to ruin the fun by pointing them all out. But when you're in here, you have an opportunity to really see Mariners history. You know, this is something where with thousands of baseball cards, there was a lot of fun of trying to track some of these down. I bet. And, and if you remember, like, if you, if you were a fan of the 80s or 90s, guys, some of those uh, older, older players on here. This really is the whole spectrum of Mariners history here I, on one wall. Absolutely love it. All right. Come on, Colby. Let's go down here and take a look at what's down here in the lower levels. Uh, you, you know, it's, it's two levels now. I know that now for all the people who are sitting in the Diamond Club seats, now there's room for everybody, we, right? We had an opportunity to expand significantly. So our interview room we relocated so we have a brand new interview room but that allowed us to have even more space for our fans to congregate before and after games so what is over here now this is brand new this is the uh, the creamery the creamery rumor has it some of our fans will have a sweet tooth and so this is the space for you we've got homemade fresh made waffle cones oh. which smell incredible <laughs> any ice creams you can desire but most importantly we did not lose the candy wall okay, the candy was, wall remains that was like it's funny because uh, <laughs> One of our staff was like, they didn't get rid of the candy wall, did they? It, Colby, you got to check that out. Look at that candy wall. It looks like a movie theater over there. And that has a whole bunch of different candies, right? Oh, we've got <laughs> something for everyone over there. So, yes, if you have a sweet tooth, this is a place for you. And we also know we're in Seattle. Coffee, espresso is important. If you round the corner, you've got an espresso bar as well. So there's there an really espresso is, bar? There's an espresso bar right around, around the corner. Here. Check so. this out. Okay, espresso bar here, more seating out here, and then this takes you right out. Takes you room. right out to the absolute best seats in the house. You could not be closer to home plate. It really is. If you are a baseball fan, this is a place to be. This is a spectacular space, and congratulations on it opening. I'm sure it took a lot to get here, and, and I, we, we checked out the press club as well. How excited are you and the staff for opening day? Oh, we could not be more excited. I mean, we have tremendous partners in Muckleshoot who helped us bring this space to life, but as important as these spaces, we've done a lot of stuff out in terms of $10 value tickets for every single game, increasing the size of the value menu, adding more walk-off markets to speed up concession lines. Tonight is going to be a celebration, and we can't wait to show it off to our fans. And it's going to be a totally packed house in there as It's well. going to be packed. Get I, here early. Are you are you going to the game tonight? Oh, I'll be there. Oh, you got to I'll go. be there. you got to be there, yeah. Uh, well, this, guys, I... <laughs> I need to find somebody who has season tickets down here so I can beg them for for at least one game to experience this. This is pretty spectacular. Well, you can take some candy on the way out. We'll share. Yes. I had a little bit earlier up in the press room. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's send it back to you guys. Brian, thank you so much. You are having a blast, my friend.